So you want to try yoga and you're a bit of a beginner or maybe a complete beginner. Maybe you did yoga a long time ago and you need a bit of a refresh. And you might be a bit confused about where to start. You know, what does the word yoga even mean? And you might even be a bit worried about not being flexible enough, maybe not being fit enough, or maybe you don't look like the kinds of people who do yoga or can't really do the kind of things that you see them doing. And it's on people like me, yoga teachers, to make it easier for you and give you a gentle introduction. My name's James, I'm a yoga teacher, and I've also volunteered for Samaritans, I've also called Samaritans when I've been in distress, and I'm really happy to be helping out with this challenge. Now, yoga means connection. It's a Sanskrit word, it means not just connection, but to connect. So it's about a process of finding a bit of connection with your experience, with your body. And that's in all its aches and pains, but also in its joy, in its movement, in its space. And we use the breath in particular and a range of movements and other practices to facilitate a connection. So we're thinking about how can we use yoga, whether it's laying down on your back, maybe it's something a bit more active like a strong posture, to bring about a sense of connection or more awareness of your body, your breath, your mind, your energy, maybe your spirit, you can take it as far as you like and there are lots of different schools of thought within yoga itself and you can kind of make it your own. I think if you're an absolute beginner, the thing you need to remember is that yoga shouldn't be painful. Pain, I think, is something we very naturally want to and should avoid, not something that we should connect with. And yoga is a non-harming practice. So do no harm is at the heart of yoga. So if your body is telling you when you try any kind of yoga practice, oh, this is a bit painful or it's too uncomfortable for where I'm at, then you change the practice to fit you rather than forcing yourself into the practice. And it's the same maybe mentally or emotionally. You know, perhaps you're not the kind of person who would sit down and meditate as your first choice activity when you feel stressed, because you might just think, oh my goodness, now I'm even more exposed to all of this stress and that's too much right now. And so doing no harm means that you perhaps wouldn't do that and you would choose something else. So as a beginner, remembering to avoid pain and to start with things that really feel like they're accessible to you based on your knowledge of your own body and how your own body responds, I think that's really important to keep in mind whatever kind of practice you're trying. And then another thing to think about is trying to go for practices where you learn the basics and that might be a little bit more about the positioning of your body. So it wouldn't then be a really fast class. You'd go for something a little bit slower. Really fast flowing kinds of yoga don't always have the time to explain every time that your knee should be pointing this way or that you should be engaging this muscle to be safe. And so doing something a bit slower, one of these more beginner's practices can help you to safely find the positions that work for you. So when I say that yoga is about connection and tuning into or becoming more aware of your body and your movement and your breath in each moment, that is a definition of mindfulness in a way. And so yoga isn't just stretching or just going from one shape to the next shape, doing a task, it's about really being present in that practice. And after all, we're human beings, not human doings. You know, I'm not going to do my yoga. Maybe it's about, oh, I'm going to be in this different shape or move from one shape to another and see how I am in it. Not necessarily how well I'm doing or what I'm achieving, is it good or is it bad, but just noticing and not being judgmental. And that for me sits really well with Samaritans because it's about listening and it's about 
accepting what you find in your experience and not judging it and not resisting it and saying, I'm only going to pay attention to this bit that I like. And no, you can't show me that bit. I think it's about seeing the whole picture and trying to hold that with as much kindness and balance as you can. So a few top things to remember when you're starting out as an absolute beginner is to find balance. It's not about pushing to 100% and forcing yourself into a shape. And it's not either about you know, completely flopping and just zoning out. It's somewhere in between when you're practicing yoga as a physical practice, the effort and the ease. Somewhere between the stability that we need in our bodies and the fluidity, the ability to move. And I think that yoga talks a lot about balance and it's something that we can really benefit from on the yoga mat and in the rest of our life. The last thing I would say is to be really, really kind with yourself. As a beginner, or even if you've practiced yoga loads before, remember that a lot of these shapes are really weird for our bodies. If we spend all day sitting like this at a computer, and then we try some yoga that's asking us to do this, the opposite movement, it will feel strange and we won't remember everything all at once. You know, if we're doing this 90% of the time, doing this for two minutes won't mean that we'll go around standing like this all of the time in our perfect posture. We have to be really patient and to be really kind and to not judge our bodies because they are wonderful for what they can do. And it's so easy to focus on what we can't do and not recognise all of the things that we can do. And one of those huge things to celebrate is just giving it a go. Just trying and just showing up. You've won already, so no need to judge. I hope you enjoy practising some yoga. It should be something that you find moments of enjoyment in as well, I hope. And that this can be a really positive part of your month.